Um, I have this shot right here. Let me just show you the uh, render first. It's just this plane, uh, just flipping backwards. So we're getting a variety of angles. Uh, one here where we're facing it flat, and then where we're facing it completely at the side, you know, a, a really sharp angle. And I want to show you uh, what happens when you paint. Well, what I did was I took this, uh, this stencil layer here, and uh, I painted, I just glued it straight to the front. And now when I go to play this back, it works fine, right? That's because we're gluing on it, uh, you know, completely flat and straight. And it doesn't matter what angle it's at, it's good. Now, what about the opposite? What if we glue it from down here where we're facing it at an angle? Well, that's where you're going to run into some problems, see? Um, so this is going to be a little bit messed up. So the point is, try to always glue from straight on if you can. And this actually isn't that big of a deal to fix. Uh, if you take a look, we can just take this stencil and we can uh, reproject from this frame. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this up. You know, so uh, a little bit larger. But actually what you're really aiming to do is uh, change the uh, angle of the rotation. Let me just put on some rulers here to get to the far left of these uh, of the projection. All right, so I probably would have been smarter to just use a corner pin there, but uh, anyway, now what I can do is I know that this stencil is pretty much matching that layer behind it. So uh, I'll go into here, I'll clear the glue, and then I'm going to screen capture this, and then glue that down, and shut this off. And now when I play it forward, uh, all the paint is going to hold together. And you'll notice that it looks the way it's supposed to look when it gets to here. I think you're going to be facing any sharp angles when you're uh, making your project, so I did this animation here. Uh, one of the strategies I used was after I finished this animation, I just did a uh, morph camera at the end to another camera, and that camera just kind of got reference of the scene, uh, rendering different angles that I might find useful. So this little overhead that's at more of a flat angle for my paint, uh, a straight on of the P, and uh, when I brought that into After Effects, you know, it's all one camera angle, it's all one series of shots, I was able to paint on all of these uh, in After Effects, and it made my life just a little bit easier. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're painting.